What's going on YouTube family? Tio here, Simplistic Fishing, back at you tonight for our final video for Lake Texoma. This is 14 videos in the making. I even created a playlist for this thing. It is huge, 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 huge. Hundreds of points for you guys, both uh, on the bank and around the bank, as well as offshore. So I got lots of good stuff for you. Make sure you check out those videos and stick around for this one. This is the grand finale where we're going to cover that one last section that we have for Lake Texoma. Here we go. So here we are on our final video for Lake Texoma. We've covered the entire lake on this side. All we have left is to basically go from this little purple fish down this little cove back in here, up to up here, and then back to the side, and we will have finished Lake Texoma. So let's go ahead and zoom in here, and let's start right here off of this point. So again, just kind of show you where I'm at. Hog Island was down here, Wood Island, all that stuff. We come up here. The closest marine to this would be uh, Cedar Mills Marina. So the point right off of Cedar Mills Marina, if you look right out here, it looks really good. There's a really good creek channel coming across here. There's real good breaks right here. So you've got a real good drop offs and real good ledges all in this area. So definitely take a look right over there. Now, as we move further back in here, the next thing I find on here is I'm really just looking for this creek arm. I'm looking for underwater stuff as well, but looking, watching that creek arm or creek channel and just seeing if it comes close to the bank anywhere. And if it does, I usually look at those areas because those are key places to, uh, to find fish. So if we look in this spot right here, real good secondary point, only four foot on the top, and then it has a really good drop off right off the edge of it. So really like this one. It's got the good feeding table. And then a little bonus on top of that, it also has a road bed that is just right off to the side of it. So check out that area, do some scanning around, see what you can find there. Now, as we move further down, we've got several different spots here. This one is just a really long point that comes out and it comes really close again to this, uh, to this creek bed or creek channel, whatever you want to call it. So here we've got the tapering point. You've got the good tabletop right here at around 12 foot. And then you've got the, uh, the slow tapering break that goes off. So really like that area. That's probably a real good spot in the fall. Uh, and then if you look back in here, you guys have heard me talk about a lot, uh, look for saddles and things like that. Well, this is pretty much a saddle that you've got right here as well. Uh, so you've got it really shallow and then it comes deep and then it gets shallow again. So you've got a nice saddle right in here, a good little point that comes off right here, plus another creek bed coming through here. So all of this back in here looks like it could be good as well. So don't overlook it if you're out here fishing around this this island, if it's even it is an island, maybe it's just really shallow. But if you're out here fishing around it, don't overlook the back side of it. Sometimes those can be the best spots. All right, so then moving down here, a couple more things to show you. Uh, this little secondary point right up here, I like how it has the nice big flat top. It's got the creek bed on the side, so you've got a good drop coming off of this side right in here. And then you've got a nice flat top, and then it kind of goes back up again and gets on a really shallow top and, you know, three or four foot of water. So definitely look there, and then as you're there, you're going to follow that point out and really just scan in this whole area around in here and see what you can find. This is a really long point that comes out, real good flat top, perfect for fall time fishing, and it's also close to the, uh, the creek channel as well. So all kinds of good bonuses going on in there. I really like this cove. You know, I like, I like the other one that we talked about earlier. Uh, back there by the Eisenhower State Park. I like that area as well, but I really like this area too, especially from an offshore standpoint. So then moving down here, uh, again, a real good point that comes out, secondary point, fairly flat on the top, um, a little bit of a tapering, but not too much, fairly flat. So that one looks good as well. This one looks good too. This one may not be as good as the other ones that we saw. It's not as obvious or it's not as really as, as detailed as the other ones, but still take a look at that one just to see. Um, and then over here, you've got these humps that are up here in five, six foot, and then this one's in 12 to 13 foot. I really like this one a little bit better, but you just never know where they're gonna set up on these humps. But more than likely, they're gonna be on this side, closer towards that creek channel, somewhere right around in this area. But you never know, they could move up here too. So just check all of that out and just see where you can find them. And I'm going to stay on this side. We're going to come back to the other side in a minute. It's coming down here again, just following that creek channel. 
again, we hit this little point here. So I love that spot right there. I'm sure there's a really good break going on somewhere right in here, especially with that creek channel swinging up against that point like that. So anywhere right in here, you would definitely want to look and see what kind of activity you could find. Then we're going to move on down, get down here to this next point. Again, a really flat top, you know, four or five foot, real shallow, um, six foot, you know, things like that. But a good break right up here off of this side as well. So a good area to take a look at right in here. Also, you got another road bed there, so that's always a big plus as well. And I think we're finally going to run out of deep water here, so we're going to spin back around and we're going to go back up the other side. So when we look over here, we've got this really big flat that's over here. As you can see here, it's a real big flat. But right off the edge of it, you've got a couple breaks. So right in here, you got one of those turn-ins, and you've got a good break right in that area. Up here, you've got where this, this flat pretty much comes out and makes a point. So you've got a good break right over in here. And you've also got this major creek arm close by too, so there could be brush piles in this area, uh, all kinds of things. Just not sure what you would find in there, but definitely look right around this area right here. All right, so zooming this back out, I'm going to take us back over here. We're getting close to this marina over here. This is Big Mineral Resort. Uh, so right here off of that point, right outside of that resort, I really like that. It's got a real good tapering point that comes out. You've got road beds, you've got some debris under the water, all kinds of good stuff. Probably a real good place to look for sure. Also right here, I like this point too. Look how this point has that real flat top that we're always looking for. This one's great, comes out, has a real flat top, good tapering off the top of it. Just, just really like that, that point for sure. Then moving over here, kind of the same thing. You've got a, a real shallow point that comes out three foot and then you've got a break right here. You've also got some potential breaks that could be out in here as well, but definitely right up in here. And I wouldn't doubt it if we even marked that with the Google Earth waypoints because we may have been able to see that when the water was down really far. Now, as we move up here, you can see we've got some real significant breaks going on right here. It's almost like we've got a shelf going on right in here somewhere. So you want to definitely look right in here, see what you can find off of that break right there, that shelf that's there. And then also, I didn't mark it, but right here where this creek bed swings and hits this little point right here, you definitely want to look in that area as well. All right, so I'm going to move on up and I'm going to come up here to this next point, which is right in this area. Secondary point comes out pretty far, somewhat flat, and then it comes really close to that creek channel. So this, again, would be a good point to be looking at. And then I'm going to move up again. We got the same thing here. This point comes out. It's got a nice flat top on it at 11 foot, which is super cool. Uh, and then a little bonus to add. You've got a creek channel that's really, really close by. So all good things, all good recipes for success. So I'm going to move over here to this next marina. This is Walnut Creek Resort. When I get in here, I didn't see too much, you know, going on here that really, you know, stood out. Obviously, you got a couple breaks here that you see here and there, but nothing too crazy. But I did like this over here. So I liked how this kind of swings in right here and this swings back out. And I like how you have a little bit of a flat top right in this area too. But I really like this area right here. That blue dot should actually be moved up just a little bit. So I'll move that one up for you guys. All right, then after that, I didn't see too much back in there, so I'm gonna keep moving. Actually, I got one more right here. This little point that's right here by the marina. Good flat top, about eight foot. Pretty good area that stays right around eight foot, and then it breaks on the sides, and you got the creek bed on this side. So anywhere right around in here is probably gonna be your hot spot. So let's keep moving up. Next thing we find is another point that comes out here. These things all have pretty decent points, but I just marked the ones that look the best to me. I like this one because you got the backside a three foot and then it really drops like big time around 18 feet. So if I zoom it out a little bit, you can see that the break's pretty sharp. You also got another sharp break right in here too. And then if you follow that up, this is the main lake point, real flat top, 12 foot, and you got the good breaks that go off towards the creek bed too. So all kinds of good stuff, like I said, in, the, in this big old cove that's back here. Then if we get over here, there's a little flat top that you'll see. You'll come through here. And it's like it dips to 13 foot, but it makes like a, a complete flat little area right in there. So definitely check right around in here. And then also check up here where this break is from 5 to 13 feet because you've pretty much got an 8 foot drop 
going on right in that area somewhere. So two really good things to look at right there by that point. Then as we move up, we scoot back, kind of show you guys where I'm about halfway back up uh, this cove. So as we move up, we come here, we're just following this creek arm, right? And it swings up and hits right in here. So definitely look right in here. This area where it touches or gets really close, you could have brush piles, you got all kinds of good stuff that are close to this creek channel. So you really want to scan. If you're going to fish this area, scan basically from here all the way to that other point. And they're going to be somewhere. They're probably going to be right around in here or they're going to be where the other point is, but they could be back over in here too as well. And also there could be brush piles all along right in here that I just can't see from a map. So uh, let's go ahead and keep moving. I'm going to move up here now. Now we're getting into uh, to where these buoys are. It says, let's see if there's anything up here to tell us where we're at. Cedar Mills Marina, still the same thing. So back here where this long point comes off, this all looks good. You've got a real sharp break on this side. So see where the creek channel is? Right in here, all of that's good. Awesome little ledge right there. Also got a high spot right in here. I'm not sure if you can fish here or not, but you might be able to at least cast over there to it. So check that out. Like all that, that all looks good. And then moving up here, we're getting back up in here closer towards the, uh, the main marina. There's a little point right in here that comes right off the marina that you'll see, and then it has a little draw. So I like that top right here for, say, fall time. But then if you needed to come back and kind of fish more of a drop, you could come back here where it basically falls off from 24 foot to about 48 feet really fast. So that little point right in there is always good. And then obviously any marinas are good too. Next thing we're going to find is, again, same thing we were talking about earlier, where that creek channel swings up against it. Those are always great areas to look. Those, basically, those are those ledges and those drop-offs that we're always looking for. So take a look at that one. See what you can find there. Uh, this is funny. It says Terry's College Hole. Let's see what it says. No notes, but somebody's college hole, which I could totally see that being a college hole, being that there's a nice bluff wall basically right there. Maybe not a bluff wall, but a nice drop off that's going on right in that area. So definitely look at that. Then I'm going to scoot on up. Next thing I find is right in here, there's a little submerged culvert that I found back in here. So this all looked pretty interesting to me just because it comes up. So it's, it's almost like an underwater point that comes all the way out here. And then right at the end of it is a submerged culvert with a road bed and things like that. So look around this area, see if you can find any fish in that area. And then over here by this little parking lot uh, area, right here, like there's a swim area here. So I couldn't tell if this is the swim area. Maybe, maybe not. This might actually be in the swim area. It was hard to tell. But anyways, right in here, I like that spot right in here where it kind of comes in. The point comes in kind of subtle. And it looks like the creek bed might actually swing up against this area and then come back here. So look right in here if you can get in there. It says swim area. So might actually not be able to go back in there. And then up here, coming off again, we've got a decent little point, nice flat top. Uh, sorry, guys. Nice flat top right in here with good breaks on each side. So that looks good as well. Let's zoom this back out. You can see where we're at. Now we're getting back out here to Main Lake. So we're, we're back out into the Main Lake now. We're going to make the turn to the left, and then we're going to wrap this thing up, and we're going to call it a day. So when we get out here, Really just looking for anything, you know, that looked good on this side. Um, I don't know why that mark is there. I'm going to take that mark off. So that mark should not be there because there's nothing there that I see that would make you want to go fish that. So let's go ahead and delete that one and then let's keep going. So we're going to keep moving on. We talked about all of the, uh, the top part up here in the last video. So I'm going to stay down here on this side. Next thing that we see when we come out here is this little point right here. So decent little point, flat really flat on the top about six feet or so then you can see where it goes nine feet 15 feet and then it has another flat top as well so those are always good areas to look around you can find some drops and stuff like that good areas for them to hang around and as we come up here there's a creek bed that comes off that main creek channel and there's a point right here some really good breaks you can see right here we've got a good break flat top and then some break as well again here but you also have the creek bed that's in this area too so those are always good spots. And then if you look further back in this pocket, there's another little point that comes out right here that could have a potential little ledge right here. Good pre-spawn, post-spawn, even close to spawn uh, would be a good area to be looking at for that one. 
All right, so moving up, didn't see anything around that marina. The next one would be right up in here. There were two spots I wanted to point out to you, and there'd be these two little points that come out. You got one right here. Again, we got that shallow top, and then you got the break. And then the other one was right over here. Really shallow, and then a pretty significant break going on right in there. And that one wasn't as obvious. So sometimes I really like those ones that aren't as obvious because they don't get hit as hard as, you know, by the other fishermen and stuff like that. And sometimes they're the golden spots because there is no pressure on them. All right, so moving on up here. Next thing I found was right in here. If you look, it says there's a submerged bridge, and it's only at about 30 foot of water. So possible summertime hole, possible. Uh, you know, maybe early fall as well can be a good spot to look. So anyways, take a look at that stuff, see what you can find, see anything out there. And then when we get back in here by this marina, Shepherd AF Air Force Base. Interesting. Didn't know they had an Air Force Base over here. That's super cool. So then moving back in here, uh, there is a little fish marker that's back here by this creek bed. But I really like this spot right in here. So if we look really closely... There's a little secondary point that's going on right here with a creek bed that's swinging up against it. These are golden places to look, especially when you're looking at pre-spawn and post-spawn. So it's a good stopping spot for them as they work their way in and out of this the back of this cove. So then moving here, you kind of have another stopping area as well. Again, that creek bed's probably swinging up against here. This could be their second stopping spot. So maybe they stop here. And then their next stopping spots right here so start thinking about that when you're looking at these maps on how they follow these creek beds and creek channels and where those stopping spots are should really help you a lot and probably explain a lot to you on why i put these marks where i put them you've also got a little turn in right here as well that looks pretty good and this was just more of an interesting contour spot that i just had to mark because i want to go check it out if i was out there the next one would be down here as well you've got a little secondary point that comes out close to a creek bed. Uh, that one looks good to you. And then we're gonna get back out here again into the main lake. Right out here by this major creek arm, you've got a main lake point, pretty shallow top, comes off as another flat top around 12 foot, and then major breaks. So I really like this, pretty much this whole area right in here, but definitely look right around that point in that area for sure. All right, and then the final two points, I have two more to show you. One's gonna be right here, just follow this creek bed back. I really like the little drop that's going on right in there, so take a look at that. And then the very last one I wanted to show you is up here by this little purple one. If I can ever get up there. And that's right here off of this point. This point comes out, almost touches the major uh, creek arm that's right there, a creek channel that's right there, and then you've also got another intersection going on right in here as well. So this right here looks like it could be a really good spot to fish. Definitely a, a good spot for us to uh, stop on and celebrate because we have made it through Lake Texoma. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this thing. Uh, it was a ton of work, but hopefully, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it and we can go out and experience tons of fish catches. Until next time, hope you catch your PB. Take care.